The platform moaned as it replicated a magnitude 8.9 earthquake. The 50-foot-tall metal box was filled with tons of sand. At the top, two heavy cubes stood in for a building. They rested on 7 to 12-foot long thick metal pilings. So as you can see, it's just a big dirt screw. Oklahoma University professor Amy Serrato says those metal spikes absorbed and then diminished the force of the quake coming from the table. She says the information from the test is crucial for future building standards. And when we have the data, we can place them into the codes and have engineers understand how these piles react during all different types of earthquakes under different types of buildings. And so it will become routine to design buildings safer from the start. Or if they're not built safely, then they can go back and be retrofitted with this data. Serato says the pilings passed the eye test today, but the real gold will be dug out of the data. This is the largest outdoor in the world. Joel Conti is a structural engineering professor at the Jacobs School of Engineering. He says it's important to be able to do tests like this in the real world. Even the best simulation tools now, do not have, we do not have enough confidence in them to, to, to use them uh, you know, systematically to design structures. Conti says the outdoor table allows researchers to build taller structures than they could at an indoor facility. Three, two, one, run. Eric Anderson, KPBS News.